how did you get involved in politics? Um, basically, my family had always talked a lot about politics, and my brother was pretty politically active when he was about my age, and he sort of took me along with him. I sort of tagged along, and I started to get really interested in it and ended up actually becoming more active, or more extreme anyway, than, than he was. So what kind of things did you do with him? Um, mostly um, sort of like leafleting and getting people to sign petitions and canvassing for the NDP and for performing artists against nuclear, uh, for nuclear disarmament. So now that you're involved in your own right, do you go to demonstrations? Yeah, uh, quite a lot actually. Um, I, I've been to a lot of demonstrations against the Harris government, which is basically the issue that most concerns me right now. Um, and uh, I was actually, I've been to quite a few, but the one sort of most major one that I went to was uh, the throne speech on September 27th. Yeah, what happened there? Um, there was uh, a moment where people mostly you know welfare recipients who had had a lot of cut in in their in their in their checks and uh, and unionists who'd had their rights stripped away stormed the barricades and I went with them because I'd helped to organize the demonstration I felt the responsibility to be there with them um, and we came up against uh, three line deep riot squad and they started smashing heads and uh, I had two teeth knocked out of my stomach bashed in really badly by one of the cops at by the front one of the, of the line cops, yeah wow so, surely, I mean, we know you from your work on Road to Avonlea and more recently Straight Pretty Up. Pretty threatening, huh? You'd want to smash me with a billy bat. Yeah. <laughs> I was a real thug on that show. Yeah, yeah. So, do people suggest that you're just being a celebrity do-gooder? Um, not so much, because I think if, if it was to promote my career, I'd choose something a little bit more... Um, fashionable, as it were, like AIDS. And it's great, you know, celebrities in, in Hollywood who stand up for things like that. But no one really stands up for anything controversial, like really challenging um, the system that creates this growing disparity between the rich and the poor. Um, and also, I'm not really that interested in being an actor in the future. So it's more, you know, along the line of what I'm really passionate about. What kind of background do you come from? I come from a very uh, middle-class background. So I've often thought to myself, you know, you always like to question your motivations about things, that it could be some kind of middle-class guilt that I felt for being born into a pretty privileged background. Um, I hope it's not that, and I don't think it's that. I think it's really that I, that I feel passionate that there shouldn't be inequality in society. But Yeah, I think it's interesting that you come from a middle-class background and end up lobbying for uh, causes for people perhaps less fortunate. Yeah, well, Karl Marx was middle-class too, so... Yeah. There so d define middle-class guilt... Um, okay. <laughs> um, I think it's uh, a lot of people feel very guilty for being born into a privileged background and feel that they should alleviate that, that guilt by you know, donating to food banks or, or working on behalf of um, people who are more oppressed. Um, and some people get into that for that reasons, and those aren't, those aren't bad reasons or ignoble reasons. It's just not how, why, where, where I would like to feel I'm coming from. So since the unfortunate event at the Harris Throne speech demo... Uh, do you still go to other protests? Absolutely. It actually, um, that experience made me a lot more passionate about it and a lot more willing to fight um, the Harris government. I, you really saw, like, the brutality, uh, really, that's behind that government, and, and it made me a lot more passionate to stand up for, for people. Cool. Any advice to Philip? Can you relate to the bagel incident? Yeah. Uh, God, I don't know really what to say about that. That's just too bizarre to even comment on. So... <laughs> I think you may be right somehow. Although, yeah. did you have your hand up over here? I just wanted to know how old the both of you are and what did you do about the, um, the cop smashing in your teeth? Okay, I'm 17. I'm 14. Um, in terms of uh, standing up and suing, I didn't do that. There were four women who uh, took, it, um, took it to court because they, they were also smashed on the head and, and some of them had to have stitches in their head and everything. Um, I felt it wouldn't be a good idea for me to press charges or anything because it would have taken the focus away from what the actual event. I didn't want it to be this thing of, you know, this, like, kid who was on TV got hit when there were people out there who act they were actually defending themselves and their lives and their children, and I was there because I was a supporter, so I just didn't want to divert the attention.